Hello, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer, liaison for ACIP, the CDC's Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. Welcome to this new segment in the American College of Physicians Adult Immunization Video Series. The topic, Blue Vaccine Primer 101. What's in that shot? All flu vaccines available for this 2022-2023 flu season are quadrivalent, meaning they cover four flu strains, two flu A's and two flu B's. The exact formula for flu vaccine is reevaluated each year and often changes depending on which strains are predicted to be circulating. The current vaccine composition has been updated to better protect against flu viruses expected to circulate this season. Influenza A viruses are divided into subtypes based on two proteins on the surface of the virus, H for hemagglutinin and N for neuraminidase. The flu A subtypes that routinely circulate in people include H1N1 and H3N2. Influenza B viruses don't have subtypes, they're classified into lineages, B Yamagata and B Victoria. Both A and B viruses can be further divided into clades and subclades, also called groups and subgroups. Influenza A viruses are the only flu viruses known to cause flu pandemics, which are global epidemics. Influenza B viruses generally change more slowly in terms of their genetic and antigenic properties. The 2022-2023 quadrivalent seasonal flu vaccines cover one flu A H1N1 virus, one flu A H3N2 virus, one flu B Victoria lineage virus, and one flu B Yamagata lineage virus. Flu vaccines can protect against these flu viruses as well as other flu viruses that are antigenically similar. So what about people with history of egg allergy? Can they get flu vaccination? Most available flu shots are grown in eggs and thus might contain trace amounts of egg protein with two exceptions. RIV, the recombinant vaccine, brand name flu block licensed for those 18 and older, and cell cultured and activated influenza vaccine, CCIIV, brand name Flucilvax, licensed for those as young as age six months and older. These are the only two flu vaccines which are not grown in eggs and are totally egg free. People with a history of hives only egg allergy symptoms can receive any age and health status appropriate influenza vaccine. The same applies to those with more severe egg allergy reactions. But if the vaccine is not one of the totally egg free shots, either cell cultured CCIIV Flucilvax or recombinant RIV flu block, it must be administered in a medical setting under the supervision of a healthcare provider who's able to recognize and manage severe allergic reactions. If you hate needles, and many people do, there's a nasal flu vaccine. There's only one nasal flu vaccine available, LEIV, the live attenuated influenza vaccine, brand name flu mist. Live attenuated means it contains live but weakened virus and that weakened virus is grown in eggs. It's approved for ages two through 49, but it's not for everyone. There are many medical conditions considered by ACIP to be contraindications and precautions. For example, it's not recommended during pregnancy. It's not recommended for anyone of any age who's immunocompromised by a condition or medication. It's not recommended for anyone with cochlear implants or for anyone with CSF leaks. Since the vaccine virus is live, recent use of flu antivirals can make the vaccine ineffective. So the timing of taking flu antivirals can also be a contraindication. Also, underlying medical conditions, including chronic heart, lung, kidney, liver, neurologic, as well as blood disorders and metabolic disorders, including diabetes, are considered precautions for this live attenuated flu vaccine. For more information, check out ACIP's comprehensive flu vaccination recommendations on the CDC website. For the American College of Physicians, I'm Dr. Sandra Freihofer.